Hi, this video is a tutorial on how to build a great JC Connects profile. To access your profile, start by logging in to JC Connects. Click your username on the top right corner of the page, then click My Profile. The first step in creating your profile is editing the Basic Profile section. If your GC Directory information is up to date, click the Sync with GC Directory button to quickly autofill your name, department, and phone number. To edit, click the Edit button and fill out the fields with the appropriate information. You can also link your social media accounts, such as Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, for users to learn more about you. If you would like to add a profile picture, you can do so by clicking the Edit Avatar button. When you are done, click Save. The next section in your profile is the About Me. This section is a free text box for users to freely express any professional information they would like to share. This area can be used like a cover letter. You can mention some of your most notable accomplishments, your current work initiatives, your specialization, and your career goals. If you are a co-op RAP or FSUB student, you may also use this space to highlight when you will be graduating and looking for permanent employment. Don't forget that it is important to be respectful of both official languages when writing your About Me. The next section in your profile is your education, followed by your work experience. In the work experience section, you can tag your colleagues to show who you have worked with during the position. The skills section is a very important feature in your profile. The information provided in this section is leveraged by the Opportunities platform to match talent to opportunities. To add a skill, click the Edit button, then Add New Skill. Begin typing your skill in the provided text box. The system will auto-suggest skills based on the first letters you've typed. This ensures that all users are using the same language to describe a skill and limits the use of acronyms or misspelling. If the skill you are typing does not appear in the auto-suggest list, you can override the system and add a new skill to help grow the skills inventory. Remember that the Skills section only allows you to list 15 of your top skills. This is so you emphasize the skills that you excel at most compared to your peers, as well as the skills that you wish to grow in your career. The avatar next to your skills are your colleagues who have endorsed your experience and ability in the skill. This is a great way to informally recognize colleagues, and because avatars appear next to the skills endorsed, there's some transparency and accountability. Managers can use these endorsements to seek out a reference check and speed up the skill validation process. The next section shows what opportunities you have participated in via the Opportunities platform. If you would like to hide this section from other users, you can modify its visibility access by clicking the drop-down menu to your preference. The second language evaluation box is being reprogrammed and is currently disabled, so for now you do not need to add any information. And finally, there's the opt-in section. The opt-in box is where you register to the types of opportunities you are interested in on the Opportunities platform. There are 10 different development opportunities and at-level mobility mechanisms to choose from. To opt-in, click the Edit button and then check the boxes to the opportunities you wish to create and or seek. Opting in is a mandatory step to gain full access to the Opportunities platform. Please note that the opt-in box is only visible to you. Other users will not see this section when viewing your profile. Once you have finished filling out all the sections in your profile, you can see your profile strength on the right-hand side of your profile. If your profile isn't at 100%, click See Details to discover where in your profile information is missing. And that is how you build a great profile on JC Connects. Now, it's your turn.